so in the previous video about the erp we were discussing about the what are the different activities or actions that are triggered when a customer places an order in uh, so let's proceed with the, that in part 2 uh, that when the customer places the order on a particular portal then the customer receives the acknowledgement and also when payment is uh, made by the customer the payment details gets verified from the uh, financial institution that is the bank of the customer from where the details uh, are verified and authenticated after that inventory checking process is uh, done in that if inventory is available then the product is uh, delivered to the uh, customer from the uh, uh, from seller end and the same is acknowledged to sales and finance department and if no inventory is available then uh, suppliers are informed about the uh, product that it is not available in our stock so kindly provide it uh, through the electronic data interchange mode and then the uh, if uh, supplier gets the response from the particular business then the supplier contacts with the production uh, department that the, this particular product is to be produced and is to be delivered to the customer then the customer can track their order through web portal that means a complete a reference number is generated for the customer through which the customer can uh, track out the order that from uh, whether it is, has been dispatched or where it has reached till now and when it will be, uh, be uh, delivered to the customer at their end. Then we're talking about e-commerce supply chain. The supply chain refers to the complex network of relationships that organizations maintain with trading partners to procure, manufacture and deliver products or services. That means supply chain is a kind of process in which you acquire raw material when organization acquires it. You raw material and the final product is made customer ko deliver karne tak whole process is the supply chain so iske andar aapka procurement aayega raw material ko lena manuf uske baad usko manufacturing karna product ke then product ke delivery and services that are supplied to the customer so the coordination of material information and financial flow between and among all the participants is done in the e-commerce supply chain the material information and finance departments must be in coordination with each other so as to smoothly perform the all of the activities of supply chain then these are the various technologies that are involved in the business organizations uh, specifically if we're talking about the e-commerce uh, crm customer relationship management scm supply chain management olap EDI, EDI electronic data interchange, EFT electronic fund transfer, business, business integration. We will discuss them one by one. So, CRM is the customer information analysis for better operating system efficiency. Customer ko uh, se understand karke business ko grow karna. That is done through the CRM. We have made a separate video also on the CRM. Please go through that also. Then uh, comes OLAP. It is a, a method of collecting, collecting and analyzing the data for decision making. Then GIS is uh, when integrated with supply chain management, it results in the best delivery routes for the product uh, for a particular organization. Then comes EDI. EDI is the electronic data interchange that is uh, it is a digital networks and automated procurement and supply chain processes are done uh, with the help of the EDI electronic data interchange because uh, it is a kind of network which provides a, a, a capability for the organizations to share information with other organizations other, other peer organizations so that the complete business process can be effectively managed and utilized 
then comes EFT electronic fund transfer that means it is the process which accept and make payments between the trading partners trading partners means peer organizations with work with one another for a particular product to complete then we are discussing about the ERP integration with e-commerce environment so the e-commerce uh, for the ERP for e-commerce is the best vehicle to share business information with partners for creating major business to business synergies. एक तो जी business to business के बीच में uh, information का share करने के लिए use होता है ताकि effective जो product development है वो हो सके. दूसरा ERP creates accurate, relevant and consistent data. Accurate data create करता है जी relevant to the product or the organization karta and consistent data aisa nahi ki abhi hai thodi der baad information available hi nahi hai assist in intelligence business decision making erp assist in uh, decision making process also for the particular business very intelligent decisions that lead to the higher growth and uh, benefits to the organization it re reduced inventory Inventory is the stock that is residing in the warehouse of a particular organization. So, because all the process is being automated and effectively and efficiently, so ERP help karta hai apni ki inventory ko reduce karne mein. Yani ki product ki jo sale hoti hai, wo kya hoti hai? Usse badhti hai. To inventory ke andar stock hoga, wo kya rahega? Kam rahega. Yani ki business is growing. Also, ERP improves order and cash management. जो भी कस्टमर ऑर्डर प्लेस करता है उसको मैनेज करने में हेल्प करता है कैश मैनेजमेंट जो भी पेमेंट्स आइदर कस्टमर मेक्स टू बिजनेस और बिजनेस मेक्स टू अदर बिजनेसेस फॉर रॉ मटेरियल्स एंड अदर डिफरेंट सर्विसेज दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बिजनेस इट आल्सो इंप्रूव कस्टमर रेस्पोंसिवनेस कस्टमर के जो रेस्पोंसिवनेस है उसका सेटिस्फैक्शन लेवल ऑफ दैट आल्सो गेट्स इंक्रीज्ड रिड्यूस्ड IT costs. It reduced. It reduces the cost of the uh, business uh, uh, in maintaining various resources in the business. Also, the availability of resources for value-added activities. Value-added जो activities होती हैं उनके लिए अवेल resources को भी available कराता है कराने में help करता है ये ERP system. So this is all about the enterprise resource planning software module that we can uh, uh, combine it with the e-commerce activities to perform them better and highly reliable, efficient and effective way. So it is the best practice to do business with the uh, embedding of the ERP software module so as the high benefits and uh, high growth of the business can be maintained. So this is all about ERP. Thank you very much. If you find any details uh, about any uh, query that you have in your mind, so you can contact me on my contact details. Thank you. Thank you very much.